Um, before I met you, I attended so many weddings as a photographer that were all the same. High school sweethearts or people who quote unquote knew from the minute they saw each other or some other cliche and cute love story that seemed like it would never happen for me. This is probably why I started to dislike weddings. They all seemed just too fake, too movie-like, and too much like everything is perfect when in reality we know life isn't always perfect and things don't always go to plan. And it's crystal clear where we go from here, where we go from here, where the sun meets the horizon line. You and me stand in the test of time. Two hearts run free, we're never looking back. This love. It's finally our wedding day. <laughs> oh, here it comes. I can't believe that today is here, and in a few hours, you'll be my husband. You've become more than my significant other. You are the other half of me. You're my steady calm through everything, my confidant and personal comedian. You're my best friend, my number one fan, and the most selfless man I know, even if you don't believe it. With us as we go, and it's crystal clear where we go from. significant day. It is a defining moment. It is one of the best defining days in your entire life. But as significant as today is, it is just the beginning of your marriage. Passage from The Art of Marriage by Wilfred Peterson. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to be angry. It is never at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end up with the honeymoon. It should continue through the years. You say I'm the only for a life full of adventure, travel, love, and good times. But more importantly, I have you for when I'm sick, when I'm sad, and when life gets tough. I know that no matter what happens, you are there for me, and I am there for you. Together, nothing can defeat us. Forever and always, P. I'm so grateful we found each other. You have exceeded every expectation I have had and ever hoped to find in the person I get to spend my life with. You continue to surprise me every day. You keep me grounded and make me laugh harder and smile bigger. You challenge me and help me grow as a person.
you, Emily. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. Until God separates us by death. And to you, I pledge my faith. And to you, I pledge my faith. The time you've been waiting for is finally here by the authority given to me by the Assemblies of God and by the state of Wisconsin. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Parker, you may kiss your bride. So it is with my great pleasure to introduce you for the first time to Mr. and Mrs. Parker Fuller. never wrong. <laughs> I have never met a person who is more right than Emily. Even when she is obviously wrong, she is still right. She would rather die than be wrong. Right, Parker? Approximately six years ago, Emily came into Parker's life. Since then, a lot of the stories start out as Parker, Emily, and I. Once, once Parker introduced me to Emily, I knew she was going to be so great for Parker. Emily and I became close friends soon into their relationship, too. Emily and I have had plenty of arguments over the years about who Parker's true best friend is. I, I married him. <laughs> Both have been nothing but supportive to me, even if I made a dumb decision and they were eventually right. They still were there for me. I have known Emily since freshman year at UW Oshkosh, and little did I know that our friendship was going to be the biggest blessing to come out of our college years. Between all of the highs and lows of college, Emily and I have been through so many milestones together. Yeah. 